Hi, this is Aaron with Wix Marine, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a Vesper AIS system on your boat. Well, let's get started. Okay, we're on location on a J111 about to install a Vesper Marine XB8000 and an SB160 splitter. We've got the boxes here, conveniently opened up, and everything's there for us to get started. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our GPS antenna, figure out a place to put it. On this boat, it's going to go in this aft corner, and it's going to run under deck to our panel here where we're going to be installing the XB8000 and splitter. Alright, so we've got our base for our GPS antenna, we've located where we want it. Now we're just going to take, we're going to take our pen, we're going to mark right in the middle and get ready to drill our hole. We've got the location for our drill hole lined up. We've got our Sudbury Elastomeric Sealant. This is a great product. It will hold to plastic and rubber and pretty much everything else. So that's how we're going to seal the hole. You also notice that I've taped the hole before I drill it. That's going to minimize on the chipping and cracking of gel coat. I also have a smaller bit, drill bit and then I'm going to go to a 3 8 inch drill bit which is going to be large enough to allow the connection through the deck. We pulled our tape. You can see we've got a nice clean hole, no chips. And now we're going to drop our wire through. 3 8 hole fits right in. So from the aft compartment, I was able to find a nice run where other wires had been run. And uh, I'm going to run our GPS antenna wire along here with the effort that hopefully we're not drilling any more holes in the boat. We'll see how that goes. Wires run all zip tied up. Remember to cut the ends of your zip tie for a nice professional looking install. So just to make sure we're cooking with fire, we uh, turned on our battery bank. We got 12 volts at the panel and I'm going to hook one end to a switch on the back and one end of our meter to the ground section and we should have the same volts and uh, tested it out and we do so we've got good connections for positive and for negative the next thing we need to decide is which switch we're gonna tie this to and I believe I'm gonna tie it to the VHF so they are all together okay so we've got our power supply our, our red wires both spliced together onto a terminal which we can now screw into the panel these connections have different sized holes you want to make sure that the hole of the one that you use corresponds appropriately to the size of the screw on the switch that you're going to be mounting it to so we've got our wires run negative to our ground bar and positive hooked up to switch and our Vesper AIS transponder is mounted to the bulkhead. Next thing we're going to do is figure out where the splitter goes. So we've got our VHF radio back here. Here's the antenna connection. We're going to unscrew that. And looks like we've got plenty of room, so we're going to mount it right here. All right, now we've got our splitter mounted to the bulkhead. And this is the fun part. We're going to connect everything up. And there's our install, the XB8000 transponder and the SP160 splitter. All connections are made. The next step is to try it out on the Vesper Watchmate app. And the final video of the install, GPS hooked up. Everything's buttoned up here at the panel. We've got our iPad out. We've downloaded the Watchmate app. And look at that. This is our list of targets. We're live broadcasting and we have a operational Vesper XB8000.